Hi, I'm Shokumar. As a trailblazer, I'm glad to introduce this newly designed postgraduate program as a risk for power executive postgraduate VLSA program to you. Why do you need this executive postgraduate VLSA program? Overall, the semiconductor industry is going through a major transformation. Let me talk about three major transformations that we are witnessing worldwide. Number one, all the OEMs and software giants like Apple, Amazon, Microsoft, Meta design their own chips to differentiate their products and services. Number two, every country is gearing up towards having a good semiconductor manufacturing ecosystem. India is also ambitiously building good fabs. Number three, we use AI for everything in semiconductors, be it EDA, design, implementation, fabrication, testing, packaging, or PCBs, AI is used everywhere. We are all going to be part of the AI-driven semiconductor industry. What it means is we create more and more complex chips using AI. AI application itself demands more and more AI chips. And we also want to produce silicon for our own consumption. In India, we want to make our own silicon as Indian chip maker under initiatives like Make in India. So, ask yourself, are you ready for this exciting chapter? How are you planning your long-term career? This executive postgraduate BLSA program will address some of the challenges you face in your long-term career. Let me explain. Think about your job. You might say, I'm highly skilled and knowledgeable in my domain, but I have no idea how I'm going to grow as a technical leader who is responsible for the chip tape-outs. For example, you have been working as a verification engineer, but you don't know how to deal with chip architecture or testing or implementation. Or you might say, I'm working in a fabless IP or services startup. Now my company ambitiously becomes a chip maker. How can I design chips and contribute more to my company? Am I competent? Or you might say, I'm highly experienced in my domain, but I'm not sure how to interface with other BUs and customers. I'm stuck in my career. For example, you are leading the project as a front-end technical lead, but you are not familiar with what other BUs are doing related to design for testing, implementation, or software validation. Or you might say, I'm working in academia or IT industry. I'm passionate about chip design, but I don't know how to change my domain. Or you might think ambitiously as an entrepreneur and say, I have amazing ideas. I want to create my own IPs or chips as an entrepreneur in the future. For example, you want to create an automotive chip for Tata or Mahindra as an entrepreneur, but you are new to complete ASIC design flow and other related things like fabrication and software stack development. So we designed this postgraduate course curriculum to address all your challenges. Now my question is, why do you want to do a postgraduate program just for the sake of upgrading your qualification? Instead, choose this executive postgraduate program and upskill yourself for your great future. All right? Our vision is to empower the aspiring engineers, engineers like you with this executive postgraduate program. It's a three years postgraduate course with multiple exit options. Depends on your job situation, you could exit in any year with certifications and postgraduate diploma. For example, you can complete two years of this PG course and exit with a postgraduate diploma if it's impossible for you to complete three years due to any unexpected events. Otherwise, this three years PG course makes you perfectly qualified to do research in your field and get your PhD from any university later in your life. Maven Silicon, as a center of excellence in VLSI, is a global training partner of RISC-V. So, I am delighted to inform you that we have designed this curriculum leveraging 
our strong domain expertise in RISC-V and ASIC, application-specific integrated circuit. Let me explain how we upskill you. In this course, you will begin with exploring the RISC-V architecture. Then, as an architect, you will design a pipeline RISC-V processor and using this processor, you will design a desktop chip that will run an operating system like Linux. Initially, you will design the chip using Verilog RTL and verify it using UVM. You will also explore how to use formal verification to verify the processor and SOC IPs. You will also understand how to create a library of pre-verified synthesizable IPs for your SOC. Post verification sign off, the verified chip will be implemented, exploring various phases like synthesis, design for testing, and physical design as part of the ASIC design flow. In addition to the chip implementation, you will also explore booting the operating system and running the software application as part of product validation. The course will also impart AI chip design. It explains how you can approach designing chips for AI applications. And the module, ML for EDA, it explains how you can use the machine language in EDA for automating various things like RTL code reviews, verification sign-off, and PPA, Power Performance Area Optimization. And the module, Gen AI for VLSI, it explains how you can build AI agents for chip design. Last but not the least, the course walks you through various other domains like IC project management, IC manufacturing, packaging and testing and prepares you well for your future. All the best. Thank you.